Oh, what's up, guys? It's Dope Strings. Uh, I forgot. I tried, I tried to um, close out the noise of the AP next to me, but um, this video is gonna be dedicated to the freak. What is the freak looking like at Prime right now? Uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good over here at Prime. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It is not looking good. It looked like from freaking. It looked like from January to now. The freight at Prime is pretty bad. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, last week, I grossed. I think. I think I grossed like 30, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3, 4, I mean, that, that's gross. That's not even what I netted for the week. Uh, if I didn't have some repairs come out, I probably, I probably would have, if I would have, if I wouldn't have had, have had repairs come out uh, for my break from that break chamber, um, for the for the week I would net probably around, which it was it was a discrepancy in that because uh, man that was about the crap to happen. I would have netted around maybe. Let me think about it. Probably around like twenty five hundred. I probably took on like twenty five hundred. I think out of that, if I wouldn't have had the discrepancies with that freaking um with the break chamber and crap like that, which had nothing to do with prime, but the shop, the shop that on um, decided to work on my truck was trying to work on my truck. I should say, probably would have been right around twenty five hundred net take home. Um, I don't see an ending to what's going on right now at all I mean we can blame winter we can blame winter it was slow um a lot of people are blaming the market uh man we can blame a lot of stuff right now but but the mat the matter of the fact is hey it's slow right now at prime it's slow um it's too many drivers bro too many drivers at prime we may be at prime right now. Let's just say we got maybe. I'm not saying we probably got ten thousand trucks at prime, or maybe nine thousand. I don't know. I mean, when I can at prime, I think we had like around like six or seven thousand. But we got. Let's just say we got ten thousand trucks. Um, not all of those are running, but maybe we have maybe nine thousand trucks running, and we might have like maybe. 7,000 loads, something like that. I don't know. But something like that, man. We, we, we got way too many drivers. When the, um, the drivers that, that get planned first are the drivers in order. They got empty first. So we might have a bunch of drivers in this one area and they get unloaded, they get um they get empty first. But you might still have drivers from the, the day before that were already empty that's still waiting on loads. So they're going to get the loads first. Now, the fact that you got you got unloaded on this day, you might not um, get a load out until tomorrow. So now you're waiting a whole day for a load, just like the last driver. So it's man, it's crazy over here, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I'm not making I'm not making the same amount of money. And it's like it feels like like you want to go home and just sit to everything's get better. Cause I mean, it's like it's no it's no freaking. I mean, it's money out here to be made, but. Bro, all this all it's gonna really take is one breakdown for owner operator at Prime. I'm gonna say, you can say one breakdown. Um, lease operators, me personally, I wouldn't I wouldn't go lease right now. I, I said it in a lot of my videos. Like, I don't see how the lease. A lot of lease drivers are <clears throat> living paycheck to paycheck right now at Prime, and I've seen seen people say this. Like, literally, lease drivers that say this at Prime, they're living paycheck to paycheck right now. Because it's hard, bro. It's hard when you're when you're freaking grossing thirty three hundred for the week, and you got a thousand dollar a week payment. Plus, you have to pay for fuel, bro. That that could be like freaking. You know, the the payment for the week is like maybe like twelve hundred bucks. Okay, now we're down to freaking um. Now we're down to twenty one hundred bucks. So we got twenty one hundred bucks left. You might put fuel in the truck. Fuel, let's just say the fuel is a th is a thousand. I think I, 
Yeah, let's just say fuel is a thousand. It might not be a thousand, but let's just say fuel is a thousand. And you put a thousand in your truck. Now you're down to eleven hundred bucks. But you're forgetting. You gotta pay taxes on that money. So now you gotta pay taxes of that on um, what thirty three hundred bucks. Let's just say taxes is maybe another three hundred. So now you're left with um eight hundred. So you got you to made eight hundred for the week. It's like, bro, if if at prime right now, I mean, I'm not saying you should quit driving trucks or nothing, but eight hundred bucks, that's enough money to freaking just work at a warehouse and be home every day. Compared to, I mean, being on the road, prime has contracted freight, um, so. We, I mean, we don't pick from local. We got brokers at Prime. We have brokers at Prime, or whatever. Which I think they should stop brokering our loads. I don't know if they're still doing it, but Prime should definitely stop brokering our loads because I mean, your drivers are suffering. Why are you broker? Bro- I mean, it makes no sense to bro- broker out any loads because drivers are already suffering. We don't have enough loads as it is. So why are we broking our loads? Why are we bringing in drivers every single week? I understand the turnover rate, all that crap, and all that. You got retention, yeah, all that. But, bro, the drivers aren't happy at all. And without the drivers, you don't have a company. Simple as that with any sort of company. So, yeah, it's, it's bad over here, Brown. That's all I got to say right now. It is bad. Um,. All I can say is try to hang in. If you can't hang in, man, hey, go find a local job. Because local, I mean, it's going to pay. Local is definitely, I mean, it, don't get me wrong. Depending on the local job that you get, um, every local job isn't going to pay. It, it, no local job is going to pay what um, well, over the road drivers make. Well, in this market, yeah, you probably will make the same amount of money. I ain't going to lie to you. You probably make the same amount of money if you go home right now. So what I would do is probably well, I wouldn't do because I, I own this truck, so no point of driving on local loads with an over the road truck. Um I could I could do the um the LTL crap. If I were to um take this truck out of prime or do a um maybe southeast regional, but I mean southeast regional that's a lot of freaking running, bro. And right now I don't even think southeast re- regional drivers are profiting for real. I think they're, more, I think they're suffering a lot too. Cause they're not um all of them not even in the freaking um focus in the southeast. I had little one of those down out here. Um, but yeah, all of them not even in the um. They're not just running the southeast right now. They're running actually more. But yeah, all I can really say is try to um. All the drivers that have I mean have leases right now. Try to hang in. Um, or or I go company. I mean, there's nothing wrong with going company. There's nothing wrong with going company until the market gets back right. There's nothing wrong with going company because I mean I wouldn't have the added stress for me if I know I'm not going to be making more than a company driver or I'm gonna be probably making less than a company driver. I would. Yeah, it doesn't make sense to be all um, have the added stress because you still have to pay taxes and all that crap. Um, no health, no health insurance. You have to pay for health insurance. Oh, I forgot about that, bro. You making like I said, eight hundred bucks a month. Um, health insurance for somebody single and a businessman. Man, I, I did me, and I'm young. I'm 27, bro. It was like what? It's like the cheapest one was like maybe. 300 bucks, but you had to pay like 5,000 for a deductible or something like that. It's like, it didn't, no, copay. 5,000 copay. I'm thinking about um, insurance, but anyway, car insurance, but um, it was like 5,000 dollars copay before they um, even look at you. It's like, it didn't make sense. So I was like, eh. But even for like good, like, okay, insurance is like 500 bucks a month. You still have to pay freaking. You still have to pay your freaking mortgage at home, your house at home, um, car insurance. If you got a car, um, car note. If you have a car, um, you got kids, child care, uh, 
man, you got a bunch of stuff. I mean, I, I don't have the child care and the car note and all that, but I'm just saying, most people do. So you have to pay for all that crap, bro. It ain't worth it, bro. It ain't worth it. You'd be struggling, struggling trying to pay that. Even I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know how company drivers. I don't know how they're doing right now because I don't know any company drivers. Any company drivers. But man, it's looking bad. Oh, let me not end this video. Yeah, just talking about that. And the fact that Prime is trying to, like I, I said in another video, Prime is trying to implement. Well, they're they're not trying. They are. They're going to in, it eventually implement the camera system with the um, forward facing, um, then the um, outward facing um, cameras on the trucks with the new whole little Qualcomm GeoTab. Um, look, it's going to be all bad, bro. It's going to be all bad. I ain't going to lie to you. That is crazy, bro. The camera system, that is crazy. A lot of drivers are saying they're going to leave, and a lot of drivers are leaving from Prom. And Prom are getting more inexperienced drivers than ever. Which isn't a bad thing, but it ain't the greatest thing either. When you have experienced drivers that have been at the company like 11, 12, 20 years, and you're going to lose them over um, a camera system that nobody wants. I mean, it, it's wild. I'm not even going to lie to you. It is wild. Because me personally, if I was at, if I had a trucking company, I would want the, um, for the most part, I would want the experienced drivers. Because, I mean, I'm going to take true experience because they, 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 know, they know what's going on. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I probably would take some, um, some inexperienced drivers. Cause they might be more careful, careful when it comes to, like, backing it. Snow, they might take it more carefully because experienced drivers they tend to get habits like habits of the way they back, the way they drive, and it's hard to break a habit. Everybody knows that. So, in that aspect, but I still wouldn't want to lose drivers that really do have the driving experience. Because if you lose those drivers, now the company just has inexperienced drivers training inexperienced drivers. Um, I think, I, I think now, right now, at, at Prime, man, you can, like, there's a lot of, um, drivers that are training, like, what, after, like, six months on the road, over the road. That's wild, bro. That's wild. I tell everybody, it took me maybe, not until I know how to back, but it took me, like, two years to become confident, like, confident in my backing, like, where I can just back anywhere. It took me two years. Some people say it took, it took them shorter, but I'm talking about like confident, like I, I, I'll go anywhere. I don't care where it's at. If they say it's tight, it's not that tight. That's how I feel. After after two years though, of backing in the tightest spots or whatever. So it took me two years. And now I got almost a million miles under my belt. I have a million miles, it's supposed to be next year, but I probably already have a million miles this year. Uh, it's just how Prime calculates it. But anyways, yeah, it's getting all bad, bro. Freight suck. Cameras coming in, and they're testing the cameras out right now. So it's like, man, what do you do? What do you do? I've researched other companies or whatever, whatnot. Um, I, I research. Um, mega carriers, um, smaller carriers. It's just a risk. If you go to a, if you choose to go to a smaller carrier, um, if you choose to go to a smaller carrier, they might not. Have, they, they probably won't have the freight. And it's like if they only have like one direct customer, two direct customers. I mean, they can be under underbidded at any time, depending on how long that contract is. They can be underbid at any time. They can lose that contract, and you're SOL. So it's like, ugh. like, pick your poison, man. Pick your poison. So right now, I'm just gonna stay at Prime. I'm just gonna stay at Prime right now. Uh, I was thinking about Landstar, but I actually need to take care of some things before I even I actually consider Landstar for real. But then again, I don't want to go to Landstar. It's like everybody goes to Landstar. It makes sense for me to do it. 
But, yeah, that's how it is at Prime right now, bro. If you kind of Prime, hey, I'm preaching, man. Hey, do not go lease. Do not go lease. Look, I'm ashy, man. Yeah, look, I'm ashy. <laughs> but do not go lease. Um, well, you can do whatever you want. Let me not Let me not say that. Don't go lease. Do whatever you want. Go company. Go company, go lease, go whatever. Go lease purchase. I mean, you can't go lease purchase out the gate, but I'm just saying. It's going to be hard for lease drivers to make it. I mean, I don't see it slowing down. A lot of drivers, I mean, a lot of companies are down downsizing. Even the mega carriers are downsizing right now. So, guys, let me know what y'all seeing out there. Let me know what y'all seeing. Uh, a lot of companies say they make this, they make that. A lot of drivers on my post say they make this, they make that. I don't believe any of that crap. I'm going to tell you that. I don't believe any of that crap. They're saying they're making 5000 a week as a company driver doing local work. I seen somebody say that. They're doing local, turning 5000 a week or something like that. Like, bro, come on, bro. You ain't got a lot of me. I know you not. But even It's a lot of heavy haul local drivers. They freaking do, um, there's a lot of local heavy haul drivers that ain't even doing 5000 a week. So you telling me, you pulling 5000 in a drive van or a reefer, 5000 a week, local. Nah. I don't believe it. it the math ain't, just ain't mathing, bro. It ain't mathing with that. At all. That's why you get to be home every day. Bro. That's, that's what I don't understand, bro. Drivers that say they, they, they get to be home every day. They put all this, bro, I don't care about you being home every day. Only you care about that, bro. Only you. Don't come on my god dang post saying you got this job that pays so-and-so and you get to be home every day, bro. Don't nobody care about the being home every day except for you. You saying you have a better quality of life and all that crap, bro. I, I'm owner-operator. I own my truck. I go home whenever I want. I make more money than you. And I'm not even doing that to deflect or nothing. I'm just saying I make more money than you. I get to go home whenever I want. I mean, I, I think that's pretty sweet, too. You get to be home every night. Okay. But anyways, man. That's all I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on at Prime right now, bro. That's all I wanted to let y'all know. Um, I've been I've been working out, bro. Cause man, I mean that's my that's what my focus on anyway right now, uh, dropping weight. Cause I mean I can't focus on the lows right now because I mean I'm not really doing nothing. I sit more than I ride. I like to ride, man, but can't do it. So now you see my die right in the background. Look at this man. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Um, hey, I might drop two videos today. I don't know. I might drop another. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Uh, let me know how you like the video. Turn on post notifications too, man. So y'all be notified when I drop another video. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.